Hey there, Andrea Gribble here from Social School for EDU. One of the most frequently asked questions uh, by teachers or educators when I go to talk at their school, you know, they ask about interacting on Facebook and if I like something or comment, what can people see of my own personal account? And uh, I wanted to take the time today to just walk through and make sure that you can do a double check on your own security settings to make sure, you know, what people are seeing. Uh, and I, I recognize that you may be leery and, and not wanting to put things out there for everyone. So go onto your desktop and up top next to this triangle, there's just this little um, lock. And those are some privacy shortcuts. First thing you're going to go to is who can see my stuff. Really, the main choices are either public or friends. So, you know, you connect with people or you connect or you show things to everybody. I have my own business. I like to be able to share things with everybody. So mine's public, but you might only want to see to have your friends see it. So that's really important. You know, the other thing is, is if I ever post something um, and it's automatically set to public, you can see right here in this box where it says public. If I wanted to change it just for this one time, I could just say only friends could see it. Okay, but the default is for me, the default is public. So again, going back up here to the top, who can see my stuff, make sure if you are worried, set that only to friends and make sure that you only request and, and connect with friends. Um, you know, where do I review who can see or find things I've posted or been tagged in? Well, you can use that activity log. So that's really important. Um, sometimes people can actually tag you in photos. I'm gonna show you in advanced settings where you can make sure to unselect that. Um, and if you ever wanted to see, okay, what do other people see on my timeline? Like, what can they see? You can actually do a view as, and you can select one of your friends, um, and then you would actually be able to view it as them. So if I wanted to view it as a specific person, um, maybe it's my friend Tina, I would do um, plug her in. This is how she would see my page. And you know, I just had lunch with her today, uh, but she's gonna see everything that I post. Uh, but that's kind of nice that that gives you that option. And then I can just exit out of that and I'm back. Um, the next thing that you really wanna make sure um, that you're checking is who can contact you. So sometimes you just don't want students um, reaching out to you. So, you know, who can contact you to try to friend request you? You could be everyone or could just be friends of friends. Okay, so it's not just everybody. So you just gotta be careful with who you're connected with. And then the final spot here is how do I stop someone from bothering me? If somebody's reaching out to you constantly, you can actually block their name. They're not gonna see it, but they're just not gonna be able to see things on your page, okay? So right here it says see more settings. Um, I'm just going to actually click on that. And here you're gonna get to see all of the things. And it can be overwhelming, right? You know, but we just kind of went who can see my stuff, who can contact me, who can look me up. Um, timeline and tagging might be friend, it might be important to check out. So, you know, who can add things to your timelines? You know, you may, may not want uh, anybody um, to be able to add anything to your timeline. So you may select only me. Um, and then how, who can see things on my timeline? But then how can I manage tags, people add, or tagging suggestions? So, you know, you can actually review tags people add to your own post before they appear. So if you turn that on, you'd actually get notified that you'd been tagged in a photo. Again, you're out, maybe you're at a bachelorette party or something this summer and you have a less flattering picture than you'd like. Um, you can enable that and you're gonna get notified before it ever gets posted and you might be able to remove yourself. You know, you can actually take yourself off. So that is very, very important. And then there's a couple other questions here. So I didn't wanna make this too long, but sometimes these are, this is really frequent, um, frequently asked things in regards to making sure you keep your page private. Um, so I hope this helped for more tips. Tune into socialschoolforedu.com. We blog each and every week all about social media and schools. Thanks so much and have a great day.